Hello, today we are reading through the fifth fifth chapter of the book of Revelation. This is the chapter where we have the seals and the scrolls. Um, this is, we're getting to the part where people sometimes just check out with Revelation. It gets a little uncomfortable. They're not sure what it means. So one thing I just want to say with chapter five, especially, is this is talking about Jesus. This isn't talking about something evil. This is talking about the one who is worthy to come and open these scrolls. And it's Jesus. There's some references here that tell us that um, the seven horns and the seven eyes, those both have its symbolism to power and knowledge is what a horn and what an eye would have represented back then. The number seven is a reference to the, the number of completeness. These are all things that, as we talked about before, are encoded references to Jesus. So I really encourage you, even if it's feeling a little uncomfortable, to, to be at peace with knowing that this is another way that we speak about our Lord and Savior and another way that we learn about him through our Bible. So don't be afraid to read it and to embrace the mystery that some of this we may not understand. Okay, so... <laughs> Excuse me, Bluebell. <laughs> My cat is here. So this is the fifth chapter of the book of Revelation. Then I saw in the right hand of the one seated on the throne a scroll, written on the inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I began to weep bitterly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. Then one of the elders said to me, do not weep. See the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. I'm just going to pause there and say the root of David. Again, that's a Jesus reference. Then I saw between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders, a lamb standing as if it had been slaughtered with seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. He went and took the scroll from the right hand of the one who was seated on the throne. When he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell before the lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. They sing a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and to break its seals for you were slaughtered and by your blood you ransomed for God, saints from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign on earth. Then I looked, and I heard the voice of many angels surrounding the throne and the living creatures and the elders. They numbered myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, singing with full voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slaughtered to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and glory and honor and blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them singing to the one seated on the throne and to the lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshiped. Okay, see you tomorrow for a reading of Revelation 6, and then we will have Revelation 7 that we will hear our sermon on this Sunday.